Hi, ACNS friends. I'd like to read you another book this afternoon. It's called The Hello Goodbye Window. N Nana and Poppy lived in a big house in the middle of town. There's a brick path that goes to the back porch, but before you get there, you pass right by the kitchen window. That's the hello goodbye window. It looks like a regular window, but it's not. The kitchen is where Nana and Poppy are most of the time. So you can climb up on the flour barrel and tap the window, then duck down and they won't know who did it. Or you can press your face against the glass and frighten them. If they're not in the kitchen, you can't do any of those things and you have to wait till next time. If they see you first, they wave and make silly faces. Sometimes Nana peekaboos me, which always makes me laugh. So I get lots of extra fun and hellos before I even get inside. Just look at the kitchen. It's so big. It has a table you can color on and lots of drawers to stay, take stuff out of and play with. But you can't touch anything under the sink. You would get very sick. There are shelves full of glass jars with lots of everything in them. A step stool so it can wash my hands and all kinds of pictures from the olden days. Nana says she even used to give me a bath in the sink when I was little. Really? Sometimes Poppy plays his harmonica for me. He can only play one song, Oh Susanna, but he can play it a lot of different ways. He can play it slow or fast. Or he can play sitting down or standing up. He says he can play it and drink a glass of water at the same time, but I've never seen him do that. When I stay over for supper, we have supper in the kitchen, and when it's dark outside, we can look at our reflections in the window. It works just like a mirror, except it's not in the bathroom and it looks like we're outside looking in. Poppy says, what are you doing out there? You come right in and have your dinner. And I say, but I'm here with you, Poppy. And then he looks at me in his funny way. Just before I go to bed, Nana turns off all the lights and we stand by the window and say goodnight to the stars. Do you know how many stars there are? Neither do I, but she knows them all. In the morning, the first place we go to is back to the kitchen and then there's the window waiting for us. You can look out and say good morning to the garden or see if it's going to rain or be nice. And you can see that if the dog next door is doing stuff in Nana's flower beds. She hates that. Sometimes Poppy says in a real loud voice, Hello world, what have you got for us today? Nobody ever answers, but he doesn't care. Poppy makes breakfast. It's his specialty. My favorite is oatmeal with banana and raisins that you can't see because he hides them down inside. I find them all. When I get dressed, I help Nana in the garden. It's very nice garden, but there's a tiger who lives behind the big bush in the back, so I don't ever go in there.
Do you think it's really a tiger? I think it's a cat. I ride my bike too. Not in the street, please. Or collect sticks and acorns. Not in the house, please. Or just kick my ball around. Sometimes when it's hot, Poppy chases me with a hose and I yell, stop it, Poppy, stop it. When he does, I ask him to do it again. Nana just shakes her head. Do you remember the summer program last summer? One very hot day, we brought the hose out and all the kids were in their clothes and they ran in front of the hose and we sprayed them with it, just like Poppy did to her. When I get tired, I come in and take my nap and nothing happens till I get up. Then sometimes I just sit by the hello goodbye window and watch. Nana says it's a magic window and nobody can come along when you least expect it. Anybody can come along when you least expect it. Tyrannosaurus Rex, he's, so, he's extinct, so he doesn't come around much. What does extinct mean? That means no longer around. The pizza delivery guy, pepperoni and cheese, he knows that's my favorite. The Queen of England, Nana is English, you know, so the Queen likes to come for tea. They all could come, and a lot more if they want. And if they do, I'll see them first. Mommy and Daddy pick me up after work. I'm glad because I know we're going home, but it makes me sad too because I have to leave Nana and Poppy. You can be happy and sad at the same time, you know. And it just happens that way sometimes. When we leave, we always stop at the window to blow kisses goodbye. When you look from the outside, Nana and Poppy's house has lots of windows, but there's only one hello goodbye window, and it's right where you need it. When I get my own house someday, I'm going to have a special hello goodbye window too. By that time, I might be a Nana myself. I don't know who the Poppy will be, but I hope he can play the harmonica. I love it when my grandchildren come to visit. Usually I come to visit them at their house, but sometimes they come here. Do your grandparents live far away? Do you have to take a plane to go visit them? Or can you drive to go visit them? Or sometimes can you even walk to go visit them? Have a great rest of the day, and I'll talk to you later.